Hello everybody, Squirrelly here once again. Thanks for joining me as always. And today I wanted to talk about a trend that's kind of coming and going and more recently it's been kind of on the uptick. And I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this as well, but I'm talking about bots in TF2. And I'm not talking about trading bots or bots in MVM or you know single player bots or even bots you play against like in community servers that have like a bot that just runs around or builds to fill up the server. I'm talking about these new bots that are coming in big groups and are just doing weird things in casual. Um, so I guess if you want to look at kind of the history of bots, there's the classic aimbotter, which is just a guy running around, you know, cheating, instantly headshotting people all over the map. This is in, you know, tons and tons of FPS games, not just TF2. So that's kind of the classic cheater, the aimbotter. And then in casual, or the old quick play, you'd see groups of cheaters once in a while, two or three maybe, not not very many. Uh, and then with the new casual update with lobbies, you can make a six stack. We started seeing six stacks of real cheaters, and they're all humans. They're doing goofy stuff, and, you know, they're just cheating, so you just leave the server, whatever. But now we're seeing weird things with bots. So you guys have probably seen these cat bots that were out for a while. I'm guessing I th they've probably been banned multiple times. I'm not sure. I haven't actually seen them in a while. Um, but they'd usually be on Koth maps like Harvest and just instantly headshotting everyone, spinning in circles, doing goofy stuff. And then I started seeing these other bots. So there would be one real person who's cheating and have like three bot medics healing them, like spinning in circles. And they're just weird, like that you can't really touch them or collide with them, and they're like inside player models, just doing weird things. So they're basically pocketing a human who's cheating, who has these bots that he's playing with. So it's kind of creative. Same thing, you just leave the server, you're like, okay, what the heck. And then we start seeing these other bots that um, are non-violence bots. They don't attack, they all go s default sniper, and they sit and spawn, <laughs> and they don't do anything. And um, at least these bots are kind of funny, you know, it still kind of kills the game, but at least it's not, you know, just ruining everyone's fun. The other thing that's weird about these is you can't push them, you can't move them, they, you can't, like, interact with them. They do do the in-game voice lines, um, but it's just weird to see six default snipers in spawn not doing anything, which is kind of ironic, I'm guessing, because that's how pubs usually are anyways. There's, like, six snipers on your team doing nothing, or, like, six spies on your team with zero kills in, like, a 20-minute game. Um, but these ones are all named non-violence bots. Sometimes they have different names. It seems that there's usually, like, one person who is real that's kind of, like, controlling them, and I'm not sure if this person is testing the bots to see how they react. Um, but if you try to pull up any vote, they instantly, you know, downvote, you know, F2. So you get six F2s immediately. You can't kick anybody. So anyways, I'm not sure if you guys have run into these. I have seen them a couple different times. Uh, there's usually six of them. They just join a team. They just stay in spawn. They're just AFK. So I thought it was kind of funny um, to see this evolution of we used to see one aimbotter running around causing havoc to a couple to, you know, six groups or six stack of people cheating to now they just have like one person cheating and you can just have a bunch of bots helping them out. Uh, and then we have these bots that would just be on their own running around cheating in servers constantly just, you know, staying on the maps. Uh, you can't really get rid of them. And now the evolution of the bots, they're friendly. They just kind of sit around and don't do anything. Um, anyways, I thought it would be kind of cool if the, you know, whoever's making these bots would at least do something fun with it, you know, make, make them all go like engineer and just build them out in the field or make them all, uh, you know, just rush the enemies with their melee or make them all just so they don't attack anybody. They just like try to run through the map. Just, you could do so much fun stuff with this. Um, being AFK is kind of funny too, but I think there's more creative ways to do it. So I don't know. I just thought it was kind of an interesting trend seeing these different kind of versions of boss that come out. Every time I get notifications that, you know, thank you for helping report someone who's been banned, like the next day or the day of, there's a bunch of new cheaters in a server. It's like, okay, well, all right, that's cool. But um, let me know if you guys have seen these bots or any other kind of bots. I know I remember hearing that people used to run uh, aim bots in MVM and they would just kind of rush through maps and they would vote kick people who would connect. So people have been using bots for all kinds of things. Um, people use bots, you know, on social media. They use them for other nefarious things. But in TF2, it's kind of funny to me to see sort of the history of bots and how they are used in this crazy, fun, but interesting game. So 
Feel free to share your stories. Let me know if you guys see any bots out there. Feel free to um, take some pictures or share it in my Steam group. Uh, I haven't really been that active in there. I'm going to try to be more active since I am posting more videos regularly. And if you guys see me in a server, say hi. Say what's up. I play uh, you know, as much as I can in the evenings or weekends. So I'm on the West Coast. Maybe I will run into you and maybe we will run into some bots. All right, guys. I will see you soon. Peace.